Hello YouTube, and today we're going to be reviewing some brilliant um, video conversion software called the WinX HD Video Converter Gilux. So after you've got your copy of this program, you want to open it up, and you'll be greeted with this user-friendly um, uh, main menu. In this video, I'll only be going over the key features because there are hundreds and hundreds of features in this, and I'll probably make a video later um, about some of the more detailed features. But for now, let's go on with, with some of the key features. So after you've added in your video, using so using either uh, the vid um, a video on your hard drive, uh, a video from YouTube, or photos from a uh, to make a slideshow, you can choose the video you want, and you'll be greeted with hundreds and hundreds of presets for almost every device on the market. So you've got all of the Apple devices, all the Androids, all of the uh, Microsoft devices, all the Sony and all the BlackBerry devices, as along with tons of more web profile videos. So after you've chosen your quality, I'm just going to choose a PC general and choose AVI and then high quality, press OK. You then have the option to view more info about it, edit your video such as trimming, cropping and all that good stuff. And also you can rename the video. So over here we have the video preview, so you can uh, play back your video before you convert it. <laughs> So after you've done that, you can come down over here and look at some of these cool features. Two reasons I love this program and think it probably beats all of the other uh, video converters is it supports high quality engines and deinterlacing. Now these two features are very cool. High quality engine uses the best quality to keep your video nice and HD. Deinterlacing is used for when you have older videos and you can and so old videos with lower quality and are a little bit um off like the the ratio might be a little bit wrong you can always enable deinterlacing before the conversion and it will make it all perfect again another cool feature is safe mode so say your video uh, isn't isn't converting properly enable safe mode and it will run through the conversion and it will work uh, another cool feature of this program, which I think is amazing, is the CPU cores. So say I wanted to record, um, record sorry, uh, convert the video as fast as possible, and I didn't really worry about my computer being laggy, I could go onto the max amount of cores and it would convert very fast. If I wanted to play a game in the meantime or, or watch some YouTube, I could always set, set it to one core or less cores, and then I could um, uh, uh, convert the video and do other things in the meantime. Uh, some more cool features about about this program is the ability to import from YouTube. So after you've pasted in your URL of the video, press Analyze, wait for the video to analyze itself. Then choose a resolution, so say this resolution. Hit OK. Choose from one of the hundreds of quality um, formats again, so say Apple device, iPod, iPod 4. And now you can convert YouTube videos to iPod 4 quality. Another thing you can do is you can import photos to make a video slideshow. You can go to your pictures library, choose a folder with the uh, pictures in, select folder, uh, choose a format, so say I wanted to convert it to a PC MP4 video. It will then put all of the photos in that folder and make a video out of them. So let's just go back to add our Meet the Soldier video. Another cool feature about this program is it has the ability to be a fully fledged video editor. So you hit that, and then you can add subtitles from a subtitle file. You can crop it or make the video larger, or you can trim out or you can trim out parts of the video you don't need, which is an extremely cool feature. Um, so after you've gone through all these features. You can then use the extremely fast uh, video conversion. Simply press run, uh, and then it'll bring up these options. You can either open the output folder when the conversion completes, or you can shut down the video when the conversion completes. And after uh, it's done, it will bring up the folder. So I'll be back after the video conversion has done. 
So after the conversion is completed, it will then open the folder for you so you can go and watch your newly converted video. So that's about it for this program and video. Um, if you liked, uh, so if you liked the video, please comment, rate, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. And goodbye.